Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna create a button hover effect to use in your prototypes in under two minutes. Two minute time frame is the goal, so let's go ahead and get started. To start, I'm gonna grab the rectangle tool and I'm going to create a rectangle that is 250 by 64. Once I have that, I'm going to align this to the very center of the artboard and zoom in. From here, I'm going to grab the dot in any of the corners and just drag that all the way in until the border radius has made a complete rounded edge. From here, we're gonna set this to blue. The color code is 2929F9, and I'm going to remove the border. Since this is a button, we need some text, so I'm just going to put contact us. I'm gonna be using Prox Minova font. I'm gonna center align that, regular weight, and it's 20 point. I'm gonna select that, hold shift, and select the rectangle, and center align those two together. I'm gonna group that with command G, from here, I'm going to hit Command C and Command V to create a duplicate. I'm going to double click to get inside of the grouping. With that rectangle selected, I'm going to set this to a color code of E1, E7, F5. I'm going to select my text and set that to black. And I'm going to change the text to Let's Work Together. So essentially, now we have our default state and our hover state. So now we're going to utilize Adobe XD's component hover feature to create this effect. So I'm going to drag this grouping on top of the other. Command shift left square bracket key will send it all the way to the back. I'm gonna double click until I select this rectangle, command C to copy it. Then I'm going to click either onto the artboard or the pasteboard so that I have no active selections and I'm gonna hit command V to paste that rectangle on the top. We're gonna to use this for an object mask. So I'm going to click and drag to select both of the button groupings and the rectangle on top. Command shift M will mask the shape. From here, I'm going to hit the plus in the component section of the property inspector to create a new component. And I'm going to add a plus for the hover state. I'm gonna to swap to the default state. With the default state selected, I'm gonna go into my mask, grab the contact us grouping and shift it off to the side. With that out of the way, I'm going to grab the let's work together text and I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller and recenter it and turn the opacity to 0%. From there, I'll just drag the contact us grouping back to the center. So let's swap to the hover state. On hover, we want the grouping, contact us, to slide out of the way. And we want to size our text back to 20 point, opacity 100%, and recenter that inside of our rectangle. Once we have that, we pretty much are done. Let's set this back to the default state. Head over to the prototype tab. Here I'm going to set the easing to ease in, ease out, and 0.6 seconds. And with that, we now have our completed button. So that is today's two minute tutorial now completed. It's been a while since I've done one of these and I've only ever done a few here on the channel. So I wanna know your guys' opinion on this style of video. If you guys liked it and found it helpful, I'll make sure to add these every now and then into the upload rotation. I think these are pretty good for showing one specific technique or feature. That way it's very focused on it and doesn't waste a whole lot of time. But that is it for me today. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more design related content. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday. So make sure you have that notification bell on so you don't miss a video. And as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.